Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to install the Solid Pole 2.0 on this 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the two top tie-down cleats in the front and the back of the, of the uh, Ridgeline. We're going to use a T50 Torx bit. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to locate our passenger side rail. Uh, now, the passenger side rail is going to have a cushion that goes towards the bulkhead, and it's also going to have a cutout that goes towards the tailgate. Um, on the inside of that rail, it's going to have a seal that goes up against the bed cap. It's essentially going to hang on top of the bed cap, just like so. So we're going to locate one of our rail brackets. We're going to slide it into our rail. And this lines up and slides right in, just like so. We're going to run the first one all the way up to the front. And the second one, once we mount that in, we just want to get it a little bit past uh, the cutout. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our tailgate bracket and we're going to mount it up to our, uh, our rail bracket. We've got a tap plate. This, this has uh, uh, holes that have threads that are tapped into that tap plate. It's going to go back behind. We're going to make sure we line all three of those holes up on, for each, each one of those sides. And we're going to use one of our provided Allen bolts, uh, run that into that tap plate through our rail bracket, through our uh, tailgate bracket, and into the tap plate. Do that with both of those holes. Once those are lined up, we're going to use our provided Allen wrench, and we're going to get those not quite tight, uh, not even really snug. We're just going to get those uh, kind of loosely put in there, just so that we can still wiggle that around uh, and still slide this back and forth. Now our front bracket needs to go in to where uh, you, you're going into your oval holes, not into your round holes. Uh, and the oval holes needs to go back again behind uh, that, uh, that bracket. And then the tap plate, our supplied Allen head bolts, the thread into the tap plate. And there again, we're just gonna put those in, but not, not to where they're snug or tight. Uh, we want to be able to wiggle around a little bit. So what I'm going to do, now that I've got both those brackets installed uh, on, loosely in place, I'm going to set this up on top of the bulkhead, or on top of the, the uh, side rail, push it all the way up to the bulkhead, and make sure that this bracket is slid all the way back to where it will hit where the tie-down cleat is. Pull my bed rug back. Now if you don't have a bed rug, of course you can just skip the part of getting the bed rug out of the way. I'm going to slide that down in. It's going to hold it in place for me. I'm going to go ahead and line up the holes for my Torx bolts from the factory, go through the holes in the tie-down cleat, through the bed rug, and, and mount that plate uh, to my tailgate pillar. All right, now I've gone ahead and lined up the uh, cab bracket uh, to the tie-down cleat in the front. And I'm going to run the factory tie-down cleat uh, uh, bolts back through that, through the tie-down cleat, through the bed rug, and through the bracket into the holes. Now, this tie-down cleat I do have to turn upside down so it goes back in, but at least I get to keep my tie-down cleat in the front. Next, what we want to do is make sure, first of all, that this rail now is all the way up against the bulkhead. Um, if, it, if, it, if you have a hard time sliding it forward, it's good to rock it back and forth a little bit while you push forward on it to get it forward. Go ahead and tighten it down with your provided Allen wrench. Tighten down all four of those Allen head bolts. Now once we got all lined up and tightened down, repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. All right, now that we've got the rails installed, we're going to go ahead and set the cover up onto the bed caps. We're going to move the cover as far forward as possible just before we hit the cab itself. We're going to center it side to side. We're going to undo the clips and fold it back to the tailgate.
Now when we get it back to the tailgate, we're gonna go ahead and center it up in the front and in the back, make sure everything's nice and straight. All right, now that we have it centered in a position, we're gonna go ahead and very gently fold it up towards the cab again. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and set the clamps at the front. All right, next what we're gonna do is for the front clamps, we're gonna turn the clamps just a little bit. The secret to using this clamp is knowing how it works. So it has to be at about a 45 degree angle before it can slide. Once it gets over to the bed cap and you rotate it in place, this will now no longer slide back and forth. It's, it's impinged in place. So we can rotate or we can slide our clamp up and then we just turn the star knob uh, until it gets all the way up to the clamp and that will lock it in place. Once that clamp is in position and tightens down, we just get it nice and snug and do the exact same process on the opposite side. Now we're just gonna fold the cover back to the tailgate and set the clamps at the back. All right, now we're gonna pull the clamp out of the stored position, pull it over to the bed cap, and lock it into place, do that on both sides. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.